Hello there ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing today? My name is Top Gun Guy 123 here once again with another video for you guys. In today's video I'm talking about the possible things we might be able to do inside of the new biker DLC which is going to be coming soon to GTA Online. Now for this video I'm going to be showing video from GTA 4 because I believe a lot of the things that are going to be included in the new biker DLC will in fact be from GTA 4's DLC, The Lost and the Damned. Now the first thing I'm going to talk about is clubhouses. Now in GTA 4's The Lost and the Damned, there was a lot of activities you could do in here such as play card games, drink, if I remember correctly there was even an arcade game in there and you could just do different various things of that type. And I believe what's going to happen is Rockstar is going to add these in but they're also going to include other activities like possibly playing pool with your friends maybe, uh, arm wrestle, maybe somehow implement a betting system where people can bet money on cards possibly. I would not put that past them. I believe that something along those lines will be added with the biker DLC for the clubhouse portion. Now I actually did misspoke just a moment ago. Uh, there is another thing that has been confirmed by Rockstar and that is that there will be a Benny's type garage except it's available for motorcycles at all of the clubhouses. Or not all the clubhouses but I'm pretty sure it will be available at at least one location and multiple different clubhouses I would say. And if you didn't know GTA 4 The Lost in the Dam had a massive amount of motorcycles and I believe there was actually 10 to 12 different motorcycles inside of The Lost in the Dam that we could customize just a tiny bit. Uh, with mods and different things like that but in GTA 5 there's really only I think it's like two maybe three motorcycles that are really biker motorcycles in my opinion Rockstar is going to add at least five to ten new ones I would say just because it is a biker DLC next is the weapons now if you didn't know in the Lost and the Damned we had five unique weapons exclusive to the Lost and Damned and that was a special variant of an assault shotgun which was incredibly awesome. Shit! Guys here. Let's get this over with. Let me just oh, Brian. here. An automatic 9mm pistol that looks and acts a lot like the AP pistol. And then there was also a pipe bomb. <laughs> and finally, we had baseball bats that we could hit other players with while they were on their motorcycles. Now for the next thing I'm pretty sure they're going to add and I mean this is as sure as I have ever been sure about anything on my channel I have ever made a video on. This is how sure I am about this. I guarantee you they are going to add in new clothing. And what I mean by this, well not just new clothing but I also think they're going to add in body modifications such as facial piercings, maybe uh, new tattoos, maybe you can even put tattoos of your motorcycle club on your body now, kind of like you can put the... Uh, you know your crew logos on your cars maybe you can do that same thing except with tattoos for your player I wouldn't also I would also expect to see different things such as new haircuts new tattoos more heavy beards uh, you can possibly have nose ears lips piercings you know different things like that and as for clothing I would expect biker boots maybe knee pads uh, hoodies and t-shirt combinations like they uh, the NPCs already have and probably even leather clothing such as leather pants leather jackets and also new helmets I'm pretty sure they're not going to forget about helmets in the game and allow us to customize them possibly to even some extent maybe uh, write things on them I doubt it would go that far but I'm pretty sure we're also going to have some you know new helmets at least also also, in case you didn't know, GTA Online actually takes place about four months before the events of GTA 5 take place. If this is the case, we're also going to possibly see the Lost MC Motorcycle Club somehow with this new biker DLC. This also could mean that we also might see Johnny again, which in case you didn't know, it kind of ended rather abruptly for him. Fucking shit! 
but due to the fact that GTA Online takes place just a few months before GTA 5, that might mean Johnny is still alive and he might go into the biker DLC and show us around and how we can use our, you know, different clubhouses, different things we can do with it, kind of like Lamar was for the Lowrider DLC and Lester was for Heist. Now as for the last thing in this video, and this is something that I am 100% positive with, I believe we are going to have a setup sort of like Finance of Felony except with bikers. Now if that's the case, that means instead of collecting crates, we might be tasked with different things such as collecting just weapons, drugs, maybe attacking rival motorcycle clubs for territory if they implement something like that in. Maybe we can rob other players' motorcycle club houses, and, or sorry, club houses and different things like that and who knows maybe we can even customize our clubhouses to an extent kind of like we could with our offices and add in safes and stuff maybe with the clubhouses we can actually design how we want the interior of our clubhouse set up maybe we can even determine where we want certain things anyway guys that is pretty much the video hopefully you enjoyed it there was a little bit of work put into this and if you agree with me or disagree with me on any of this please let me know in the comment section below i'm really interested in hearing it thank you so much guys see you guys in the next video